Hi, this is Jason Thomas, and in this video cast, we're going to learn how to shrink large video files from a flip camera using a piece of free software called Format Factory. First of all, Format Factory is free. You can download it if you go to www.formatoz.com. Then you'll just click on the download link here, and it will allow you to download the program. I already have the program downloaded and installed on this computer, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So right here, I have a file from a flip video camera. It's about nine and a half minutes long, and we're going to go to the properties and see that this is 600 megabytes, which is huge. That's too big to upload pretty much anywhere you'll need your students to upload a video. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert it and shrink this file. So, remember, we're starting with 600 megabytes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Format Factory. When the program opens, you get a pretty simple interface. All you have to do is take your video file, which I have right here, and I'm going to move this so you can see it, and you take the video and drag it into this window. And it'll give you a dialog asking what you want to do to it. What we're going to do is we're going to convert this video to an MP4, which is a type of compressed video. Don't click OK yet. Click on Settings, and what you want to make sure is in this drop-down, it's set to this third option for low quality and size, and then under FPS, you can leave it at 18. I decided to set it to 23.976, and that way it won't look choppy, because this is pretty much a native frames per second to where on a television you won't even be able to tell that it's been downgraded in frames per second. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK again. And then all you have to do is you'll see your videos here. There's my original size. Converting it to an MP4. Then it tells you where I'm going to output it to. That's just what the folder where your new video, your convert and shrunk video will be. So I'm going to click Start button. And then you wait. So you can go, you know, make a sandwich, get a cup of coffee. This will take a little while, depending on the size of the video. Um, for a 10-minute video, you see it's at 1% now. It's probably going to take about 10 minutes. So we'll come back then. All right, our video is done converting. It only took about 6 minutes, so I was a little off there, but not too bad. So we have our video converted. Now, if you want to find your new video, all you have to do is click this button here that says Output Folder. I click it, and it opens a window. Hey, it's my new video. Now I click on it, and you can see we went from 600 megabytes, and my new file size is 18 megabytes. That's pretty good compression. And just to give you an idea of the quality, I'm going to open it up and give you a few seconds you can hear it. All right, there's my media player. It's just going to take a second. There it is. Not too bad. I mean, for 18 megabytes, you can't expect much more. And you can play with the settings. Go to medium quality, maybe, if you want a little bigger file with a little more quality. But for the sake of what we're doing, uh, you can see my face. You can see what's going on. You don't really need much more than that, I would hope. Um, if you have questions, problems, concerns, just go ahead and contact me. You have all my information, jthomas at spcc.edu, or just stop by my office in Mobile Unit 6. Thank you, and hopefully these videos turn out great for you as well.